Like this shit, motherfucking Christmas or something. Like I'm like, ho! Oh. Like I, I don't know what's going on, but this daycare got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, no bullshit. Like they be acting like yo, like listen, I, okay, cool. This ain't, ain't nuts, ain't nothing to a motherfucking pin. You see, ain't nothing to a nigga like me. So like, so like, like so like a month ago, they you know how daycare put up a little sheet. I'm reading the sheet. Let's say, parents, please, we cannot stress this enough to bring the $3. Now, I don't know they financial situation with other parents, but I'm reading this letter, and I feel like they making it seem like the parents nutty or something. Like, the, the jewel said, parents, please bring in, I cannot stress this enough, your $3 for your child before the 14th. So I'm like, all right, it's $3. I'm like, who, like, who going to play? All right, bet I'm going to take $3. I'm not playing that. It's $3. I got, all, all of us got $3 on me. So I'm not paying it on mine. So I'm reading the article cool. But then, like, it had a little list. And it had all these treats to bring. And you pulled a sign next to it if you're going to be the one that bring it or whatever. So I'm just looking at it. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I just signed anyway. No bullshit. They didn't even look at it. I signed it. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. All this shit about nothing, right? So I'm like, all right, bet. Time going past. I'm not paying it on mine. Like, who the fuck going to think about $3? I picked Zara up. Uh, I picked Zara up uh, uh, like like two days ago. And I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot to do the joint and all that, right? But her teacher wasn't there, so I forget again. I picked up yesterday. No, I didn't pick up yesterday. Her mom picked up yesterday because I wasn't going to beat up with any clothes. So I, so I really slipped, right? So this morning, I walk in. I just feel like the vibe real different in there. So I'm like, oh, all, all the kids look nice. I speak to the teacher. She's like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm the vibe off. So I put Zara down and all that shit. So Zara started running around. So I'm like, all right, Zara, bye. She's like, hold on, I need to talk to you real quick. But she made it seem like it was something urgent, like my daughter being there drunk. She pulled me to the side, told me some years. So, you know, um, you signed the... Uh, of the sheet and you, and you read it that you signed it and all that but uh we haven't received any payment you know i told the parents that if the three dollars was a lot that we could put it in installments but you know you haven't paid anything and then uh you had to bring the cheese balls up so i'm like what the fuck fuck the three dollars who the fuck said i was bringing cheese balls first of all i don't like what i should even say i'm bitch you mean cheese curls she ain't talking about cheese balls i mean i'm not I'm like, all right, all right, I'm like, all right, cool. I understand about the $3. You know, I, that's my fault because I procrastinated the whole time because it's only fucking $3. But you go ahead and take that 5 to keep the change, right? And then someone's like, okay, now, um, you know, every parent brought something, you know, like, for instance, right? A white parent come in. Here goes Miss Ashley, you know, she's brought in the cupcakes. Man, how, how much is these cheese balls you talking about? What the fuck is you? Like, what are you talking about? So we just saying that you signed for it, you know, she, uh, in order for her to participate, you know, the parent must bring the $3 for the pizza we're going to be giving them, and then, you know, the snack. I'm looking at the lady like, yo, she got me fucked up. So I'm like, yo, she really stepping to me like I'm a nut-ass, broke-ass person. You know what? I'll be right back. It's a Don Jr. Okay, I'll be right back. You see what I'm saying? I goes over here, right? Brought like six buckets of cheese ball, right? Like six buckets. Now, I know. Now, I know that they ain't eat all these buckets, right? So, I'm like, shit, I mean, fuck, like, like, I give a fuck about some $3 and some cheese balls, right? So, I pour six buckets, right? I take them back. The teacher was in the, uh, the teacher was in the bathroom with one of the kids, right? I popped open three cheese balls and put them on the floor, right? And put the other three on the counter, right? And I leave. I get, like, halfway out. I stop, and I'm listening. All the kids must have ran for the cheese balls and, like, was grabbing them all that because the kids was, all you heard is all this stumping. And I just kept walking. You got me fucked up. That's what you get me. You clean up all them cheese balls, bitch. You see what I'm saying? Real rare. I'm like, oh, no, they tripping. They ain't shit. Oh, yeah, but, you know, I told the parents that if you wanted to do it in the store, like, what? In, in store what? You talk about a satellite? You talk about some cable? I know you talking about no fucking three bills. I know you ain't coming for me like that. Like, I, like don't get me wrong. I picked where she coming from because I, I didn't do it, but don't make it seem like I couldn't have done it, bitch. I, I'm not thinking about no three. Like, like you telling me, I'm living my regular life. I'm doing, I'm doing sixty on a bully. I'm getting pussy. I'm watching TV. You think I'm gonna stop? Like, oh shit, I owe them three dollars. That's, that's what you think I'm gonna do. That's what you think I'm gonna do. You think I'm gonna stop what I'm doing? It's like, oh shit, I owe them three dollars. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> it's all up. You see what I'm saying? No, no, no. Listen, don't no, listen. I ain't got no listen. 
Those little fucking cheese balls. I'm like, what? What? No, I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> That's, I don't. I don't give a fuck about. Those, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> listen, listen. They must not know about me. I don't know what the mom be going to that patron she is. But listen, you got the right one today over some fucking three dollars and some cheese balls. Gonna pull me to the side like I'm on. What? And see me, you know what's crazy? Cause the petty me, the the, uh, the 2016 me, I would have took my daughter to fuck home with me. Like I would like, you know what? Man, fuck this. What you talking about? She can't. Put... Zara, let's go. She ain't want to be there anyway. She cried at all when I dropped off. Zara, let's go. We out. You see what I'm saying? But I'm like, no, Rich. She she gonna have fun. She gonna be the, go ahead and do this shit. There ain't no big deal. You know what I'm saying? But she got me fucked up. It was some fucking three dollars and some cheese. Cause I don't give a fuck about that. Where are you at? Listen. So I have all the fucking three dollars she wanted cheese curls in the house. That's the thing that fucked me up. She ain't even say cheese curls. She said cheese balls. Like what the fuck is that? Nigga, there ain't no fucking cheese ball. What the fuck are you talking about? I put a provolone on the nuts. You tripping? Who the fuck is putting provolone on their nuts with them cheese balls? Like, get the fuck out of here. I put a pepper jack on the nuts. You be tripping? And, this, listen, I tell you, man. Like I said, I don't know what they parents be on me, but she was talking to me like I was just another ass nigga. I ain't like that. Like, that threw me off for the whole day. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, always forward. You know what I'm saying? When they go, when they go, when they go low, we go lower. Fuck is you talking about? We go high. No, when they go low, we go lower. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get lower than you, bitch. Anyway. Damn, y'all, it's really Valentine's Day. This shit feel magnificent. Like, it's just, it don't even feel like a Thursday. It just feel like Valentine's Day. Like, the love is in the air. Cupid on every corner, throwing shit. This is, is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. You know? And Dennis that, Dennis that, uh, 50% of the world that, that's on a period. So, you know, ain't nothing going down for you. You know what I'm saying? But listen, if, you, if your girl paid on a nigga, listen. Valentine's Day is postponed. Yes, I'm telling you. Listen, I'm, I'm telling you. Valentine's Day is postponed. If our period is on, listen, and you ain't, you will not receive any gift until I see as you dripping. You know what I'm saying? Don't be the dumb one. Go all out, book the hotel, your hotel holiday. Yeah, you say what? You do all that bullshit. She don't even want to tell you because she just so flattered by the gifts because this is the best thing you ever did for. She don't even want to say nothing. Y'all are at the telly and all at the night. You done gave her four or five gifts and all that because you were just beefing because you got caught cheating like a money goes and then you did all the extra shit for Valentine's Day and then she hit you with the... You know I'm spying and all that shit. You know. I mean, I was going to tell you, but it's totally slipped my mind. But y'all always slip your mind. You're supposed to change. You're supposed to change the fucking bed every four hours. So how did it slip your mind, bitch? But you had 12 hours. That's three pad changes and you ain't saying shit. It ain't slipped your fucking mind. Come on with that nut shit. Come on with that nut shit. Come on now. Real shit. I'm about to wrap my dick up with some motherfucking, uh, some motherfucking tampon material and, and stuff you. Real shit. Listen, that's what somebody got to invent. When your girl on a period, you could put some tampon shit all over your dick and then you just stuff her. So that way it feel like she got a tampon in her. But something need to happen because there's no way in hell that it's 50% of the world right now that they got... The that they fucking bear on. Y'all niggas ain't getting no cheeks. Y'all niggas ain't getting no cheeks. Yeah. I feel sorry for you niggas. Well, I really don't feel sorry for y'all at all. You know, I'm only saying this because Vosh is one of the 50%. So, you know, I, I'm just saying for all my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Mm-mm. I am tired. That shit getting postponed, sweetie. Give me my gun back. Excuse me. Don't give me my gun back. The fuck is you talking about? I, I can't shoot nothing up. You not shooting nothing up. Or what? You know, talk about, about that fucking gun all night. I know. I'm in bed. I'm just thinking to myself, like, Rich, you should have never got her that fucking gun. When I tell y'all, she cocking him back. She throwing her bullets in her mouth like, like it's candy. Like, ah. Like, like she drew with the gun. I'm like, yo, watch. Put the gun in the closet. I'm like, what? It's my little So I just love it. I want to get used to it. You ain't going to get used to it like that. You fucking the gun. How you, how you, you don't fuck guns. What is you doing? You get used to it by shooting him. You ain't doing that. You ain't playing with it like it's, like it's a toy. She so gonna break that shit. I bet. I, uh, she gonna break that fucking gun. Real shit. I'm like, you know what? Bitch, take that shit back. But I be dead or she be dead. Real shit. But I be dead, she be dead. I'm, I'm telling you, she tripping with that gun. Real bad. Fuck the five times a day. Everybody running around here like this shit means something to motherfuckers. 
Ben getting, Ben getting pussy. What the fuck? I ain't, see, see what I'm saying? Come on now. I don't need no fucking. Listen, you know what's crazy? Cause I know she ain't getting me nothing. She thinks she low, but it's cool though. Cause she tells me, oh, 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 you get in the car. Oh, oh, it was in the car. Where? In the back seat? Yep. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Because when I came in this house, I checked your car. It wasn't nothing in there but all these old ass papers and car chairs and and, and and chips all on the seats. There wasn't no gifts in there. So why the fuck are you lying? Oh no, wait. It might be in the truck. It ain't in no fucking truck. You ain't getting shit. What you what she, what she gonna try to do is she go to school at eight. She in there now. My face she put you right out. And she gonna go run somewhere and get some. And then she gonna make sense. She be, hey, I bet you had that shit. That, that's cause that's a dumb shit. Boz do. Boz like the she's a fucking liar. I don't, she do. She like to lie. Oh no, I've been had you to give had to get for two weeks. No, she did. She ain't give me shit. Talk about so. This how you know somebody gonna get you shit, right? No bullshit, right? If your chick tell you this, this how you know she ain't getting you shit. Like, I don't even know what they get you. Like, like, I feel like you got everything. Like, I don't need, like, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to get you because I feel like you got everything. Once they tell you that, they ain't getting you nothing. Because, first of all, I don't got everything. I ain't got a million dollars. I ain't got a mansion on the fucking hills. I like, fucking mean I got everything. Oh, I don't know what to get you. You got everything. All right, well, give me some more of the same shit I already got then. What the fuck are you talking about? Motherfucker, because you got 20 pair of shoes or 100 pair of shoes that 101 going to hurt. Well, give me some more of what I already got. That's fine. Thank you. You see what I'm saying? Real shit. The fuck? They kill me with that shit. Oh, I don't know what I've been getting you. I feel like you got everything. I ain't got no fucking everything. What the fuck is you talking about? Kill me. Listen, you ain't getting shit. And, I, and you know, growing up, I uh, I used to think that Valentine's Day was for both. For, I thought it was for both people. I didn't know until I got older that Valentine's Day was for bitches. I didn't know that. I thought we... I thought we... We both, we both get. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't know until like recently that it's for bitches. I didn't know that. I'm thinking like, shit. I want, I, I want to put on some lingerie too. Shit, what the fuck are you talking about? Give me some speedos with the, with the, with the both of the balls hanging out the side. I, like, I, I thought, I, I thought we're supposed to get dressed up too. You get all the shit. This get different when you older. Like when I was a kid, I got dumb pops. I had admirers and all that shit too. You get older, you realize you're doing all this shit by yourself. They bitches don't be trying to lift a finger for a nigga. They, listen, they, be, they don't be trying to lift a finger for you. You like, yo, the fuck? Bitches don't want no fucking chocolate. Your bitch already borderline fat. You better not get no fucking chocolate so she can fucking overdose or re, or fucking or fucking relapse like this motherfucker. Bitch been on a diet six months straight. You gonna give her some fucking chocolate? And then she didn't over. Then she didn't OD on it now. No, real shit. I swear to God, I'm not getting nothing else. Real rat. I'm going to start doing what the fuck they do. I'm going to start making everything about us. Every time it's something for you, I'm making it about us. It's your birthday, it's about us. We going somewhere where we both going to have fun. What the fuck are we talking about? Because they don't give a fuck about us for real. And I want you to understand that. Like, I thought niggas wasn't shit, but if you, if you in a relationship with a girl, no cap, you you going to feel like they don't give a fuck about you. No bullshit. That's exactly why niggas be single doing all that nut shit. Because when you in a relationship, that shit don't never be about you. I swear to God. You know, what's for dinner? It's something they want. Like, yo, you want to go to Chinese stuff? I don't want some Chinese food. What you want? I, 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 want, I want some only these. You want to go to only these? All right, come on. You see what I'm saying? It'll never be about you. Real shit. Only, only time it's about you is when she ride you or bounce on that dick. That's the only time you're going to feel like you appreciate it and what she doing is for you. Well, other than that, this shit will not be about niggas. Bro, they don't give a fuck about us. Real shit. This is no cat. Everything is about them. Everything. When it comes to the TV. Yo, I'm gonna watch the game. No, you remember you seen my best one? Like, oh, all right, go, 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 go watch you going watch, man. Go watch you going watch, man. Real shit, like, like you feel like you a prisoner in your own home with these relationships. Valentine's Day coming around, they acting brand new. Now, I would show you the, I would show you the message that uh the girl had DM me, but like it was from two days ago. I supposed to talk about it yesterday, so it's probably a little ways. So if y'all don't mind waiting, I can try to find it. But if not. She basically said, hold on, I want to find it because I don't got time for old rich. You capping. Oh, no, bro, you. Oh, no, bro, you capping. So let me just see. And I'll find it so y'all can read it real quick. I think this is it. All right, there it go, right there. No. Four eight three long with the four four. Niggas talk shit. You the whole oh, I got a thirty eight, a long scrape, a forty bacon, long weight. Niggas talk hot quick. Y'all go ahead read that though. It did not matter. She is a whole. I did not pop. She is a matter. Now I'm in 
Uh, Blurry, alright, fuck it. I was, I was just, I was just wondering so y'all know it wasn't no cap. That's all. I just, I was doing that so y'all know it wasn't no cap. That's all. I don't give a fuck if you read it. I know I wasn't reading all that shit either. But anyway, so basically she's a side chick, you know? And she was like, you know, well, at first I didn't know I was a side chick, but, you know, I put two and two together, you know, I'm the side chick, which is cool, which is cool. I've never been, I've never been a side chick. All that cool, first of all, that's the fuck you did. That's you did. Now, if a nigga is fucking with you and you are unaware that he has a girlfriend, you are not a side chick. That's not what side chick is. A side chick is a girl that knows that he has a wife or whatever else and she continues to fuck with him. You signed the side chick contract. If you not aware of him having a girlfriend, wife, or whatever, you are like more like a it's like more like a affair or a mistress. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? You a side chick when you know. Now, most likely the niggas be lying, right? But when the moment you figured it out, you had the opportunity to say, you know what? I'ma leave this nigga alone because ain't ain't no end of the road here. Or I'm going to keep fucking with it. And in life, I like to tell people, there's always two sides, right? It's your side and it's their side. And if they're not on your side, then what side are they on? There is no middle. So even when 21 Savage said, nigga, pick a side, you're going to die in the middle. There is no middle. It's either you on my side or their side. And it'll take a rocket science to know if you ain't on my side, then you on their side. Ain't no in the middle. So, once you realize he had a girl that he wasn't on your side, then he was on that side. Leave him the fuck alone. But she do say, you know, I was fuck like I fuck with him now. Like, I to, like, like she fuck with him now, right? So it's hard to stop. Like, we all gonna find ourselves doing something that we don't stand for or against our morals when love is on the table. Love makes you do some crazy things, and that saying it stands true to this day. Love makes you do some crazy things. I'm just being honest, you know. So she know it ain't going nowhere, and she know that he got a girl, but she don't want to kick it off. In reality, it's not her problem. It's not. It's not like something that she really got to deal with too much because she know her place. And if main man, if like main man, like I told you, like she is not cool. But if you got like an understanding between you. <laughs> Your side chick and what's going on? Then you won. Like you, you almost thorough. You thorough in the cheating category. I'm not, I'm not saying you thorough for cheating. I'm just saying you in the thorough category because how you handled it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be the sloppy nigga who got your girl out here fighting and all that. That's doing too much. But the moment she know that you got a girl and she know her place and all that, then you good. Fuck that bitch. You don't give a fuck about that. Now she goes on to say, you know. She be trying to stop fucking with him and he be, and he be, you know, saying he want her and all that shit. Well, first of all, you shouldn't even want a nigga to leave his bitch anyway because what are you going to do when he finds somebody else like you? That went over so many people's heads, it don't even make no sense. Y'all ain't even catch what I just said. You shouldn't even want a nigga or a bitch to leave they love one for you because what's going to happen when they find another you? You know what I'm saying? How you get them is how you lose them. And that's and that's true a little bit. So, you know, once they leave a bitch for you, you're going to realize you don't even want the nigga. Because, like, on some real shit, this is just me. I'm going to be honest. Fuck all the bullshit. If I'm fucking with you and you got a nigga, you would never be my girl. We would never be more than me dipping dick. That's it. We would never be more than that. Bitch, how the fuck can I trust you if you cheating on your nigga with me? I'm not trying to hit that over here. No, I bet you you're still there. Fuck no. Fuck no. I'm not. No, dummy. No, you're not never going to be my girl. Don't leave him. And if you do leave him, don't make me the reason why. Because when you break up with him, you broke up with me. I am the side nigga. If you don't got no main nigga, 
I'm supposed to fill his shoes. That's not happening. You break up with whom you broke up with us. That's period. That's just how that go. But bitches be acting. Bitches be acting like they don't be knowing what's going on. Like first of all, sis, on some real shit, it's a lot of good dick out here. It's a lot of niggas that's thorough. It's a lot of niggas that's gonna be cute, or a lot of niggas that you really gonna love. But you can never throw away everything you stand for for nobody. It just don't work. I don't give a fuck how much she mean to you, how thorough she is. Is she on her shit? If she got you throwing away everything you stand for, bro, she ain't for you. She gonna wind up hurting you. You don't believe me, ladies? How many niggas, how many of y'all messed with somebody before, right? He was thorough, probably had a couple of dollars, stayed low, just had 30 out of y'all, but he just had hey, you throwing away all your morals and all your, and all your, all your, you know, da 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 da. You didn't cut off all your friends for him because he don't like your friends or whatever, so you start acting funny towards your friends. Next thing you know, you ain't got nobody. That shit still don't work out. That don't work out now because no, you didn't give up all your friends for the nigga. You didn't probably fuck around and and, and and cursed your mom and grandpa the fuck out and did all this goofy shit for something that ain't gonna work out. Y'all be y'all be too fast to throw away your morals and lose your common sense for a motherfucker. I get that it be hard. I get that it be happening. And you be like, yo, like no, like, but you gotta talk to yourself. A motherfucker that's really for you is not gonna have you out here. Losing your fucking mind And I don't literally mean like going crazy But nigga be having you losing your mind Like you don't even want to go to work no more You don't want to hang with your friends You want to be laid up with whom all day You want to worry about That ain't that, that ain't the way to live Boop boop Hey boop boop That ain't the way to live You got to understand that A nigga got to add value to your life You got to add value to his life Motherfucker don't come into your life And decrease your worth What the, That don't make sense If you work for mother if, if you got that man out of pussy why would you risk fucking with a nigga that's gonna change it to a couple hundred thousand? You gotta fuck with motherfuckers that's gonna add to your fucking value. Y'all be fucking with these corny ass niggas and your stock be going down because you be on some nut shit. You supposed to meet people and y'all supposed to exchange thoroughness. You get what I'm saying? Because if y'all if y'all both thorough and y'all exchanging thoroughness, y'all gonna be a thorough ass couple. It can't be one sided, but y'all bitches be too quick to throw away. Everything you know and get common sense to be with a nigga. That's not thorough. A lot of niggas do that shit too. Like a lot of y'all niggas be just want to be laid up with a bitch. Don't want to do nothing. You don't want to hang with the guy. Like a lot of people be so quick to throw away their morals for somebody. They don't make no fucking sense. Like bro, you can stand for what you stand for and be in a relationship. Like what are you talking about? Niggas be having a bitch talk anyway to him. She be talking to him all crazy. He don't care. Oh no, that's how she get. But you know I ain't. With. Nigga, what is wrong with y'all niggas? But y'all niggas be soft. I'm not saying argue with your bitch over anything, but she got you fucked up and she think you ain't gonna do shit you been doing. I been doing this. You can go. You can go. See, the thing is, y'all value who you fuck with more than yourself. You respect, care, and love the person you with more than you love, care, and respect yourself. That's the first problem. I don't love or care or respect nobody more than myself. Zara, not included. That, that's a whole different type of ball game. We talking about relationship status and shit like that. How you gonna love somebody more than you love you? How you gonna care about somebody more than you love you? How you gonna respect somebody more than you respect you? Fuck no. You tripping. So if any time somebody come between that type of shit, you gotta put it into place. You're not just gonna have me out here forgetting everything I've been taught. Fuck no. The be with no fucking nigga. The be with no but you tripping. It don't work like that. So a lot of y'all need to be in relationships because y'all don't know how to take lead. Y'all a bunch of followers. You a following ass friend and you gonna be a following ass bitch. You can't operate by yourself. You need a man or you feel depressed or you feel unwanted because you need a man. You need all them bitches around you because you feel alone and you ain't gotta do all that. You supposed to be comfortable in your own skin. If you see Rich by himself, he gonna be the same Rich with five niggas, ten niggas, and twenty niggas. My shit don't change about who I'm with or where I'm at. I'm the same motherfucker. Because all I know is me. But y'all be caring too much about who you sleep with or you respect them too much or you love them too much that you forget about yourself. You always dishing out and dishing out and kissing their ass and doing this. But what about you? If you don't take care of you, hear me, hear me out just like this. If you don't take care of you, then who going to do it? If you don't take care of you, then who going to do it? I tell people all the time, if you love, care, and respect yourself, and the person you with love, care, and respect himself, then y'all gonna be cool, because y'all both care, love, respect each other. That's how that go. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of no fucking body. 
But a lot of y'all motherfuckers just let people run all over you because you don't understand that you deserve better. There's some women out there that need that nigga to be controlling and disrespectful, but that don't mean it's you. Just because he controlling or disrespectful or she don't know how to talk and she crazy, that don't mean it's for you. Somebody gonna love her. They ain't gotta be me. You get what I'm saying? A lot of y'all be just forced and y'all try to force situations because you feel like that's what you deserve or that's what it is. No, it's not what it is. I don't give a fuck if you 60. If that shit don't feel right, then bye. Somebody gonna listen. Somebody need all that energy you got, but it ain't me. Oh, yeah, all that hitting bitches and, and, and being controlling and insecure. There's some bitches that like that and find that a turn on. But me, nah, I'm cool. I'm out. But y'all be like, no, it's cool. This what it is. No, y'all chicks be crazy. And all that over some love? You ain't doing that for a bag. You ain't doing that for it. And you doing it for some love? And then, you know, I want to talk about this real quick, right? Because a lot of people been... A lot of people been running with it, but to me, it didn't make sense. But I'm going to talk about it. All y'all going to know what I'm talking about. Hold on. I don't know if it was Kodak Black or 21 Savage. They said, I don't want love. I want loyalty. You know, because, you know, love is like da da da, -da and loyalty. You can show it all. Let me tell you something. Loyalty falls under love. If you ask me, it's 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 one. You follow what I'm saying? Like, you could be loyal to somebody and not love them. Think about it though. Like, you could be loyal to somebody. Like, like that's your right hand. That's my guy. I'm loyal to him. So, so in a, in a in a way, you love him, nigga. That's why you like. I love my nigga. That's why I'm loyal to him. You get what I'm saying? And how can I love you? In a, if I'm not, if I'm not loyal to you, <laughs> so when he said it, I mean like with some real shit, y'all take everything and run with it, cause that's what people do. But to me, I heard it different. I'm like, well, I thought it's both. I thought like loyalty falls under love. You get what I'm saying? Like loyalty falls under love. But how can I be loyal to you and not love you? And how can I love you and not be loyal? I just don't understand that. Part. Even if you're in a relationship, if the bitch say she love you and she cheating on you, then she don't love you. You get what I'm saying? And if in a relationship, if the bitch being loyal to you, that's because she like you. Or at least she thinks she like you, one or the other. So I didn't get it. It didn't make sense to me. Because I don't see how somebody can be loyal to me and not love me. But like I said, y'all ran with it. I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't understand it. Like it's like I feel like loyalty falls under love. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like saying, like, you know, you know, I want like a like, you know, like a burger or something. But you're like, yeah, but like, no, like me personally, like I'd rather, I'd rather have the burger than a bun. And in your mind, you're like, well, ain't no, don't, don't the bread with the patty make it a burger? No, I'm just saying like me personally, I want the, I want the burger, but like, I don't, like, I don't want the bread. So therefore <laughs> it's not a burger. <laughs> it's a, it's a patty. And that's how I saw it, or I heard it when he said it. I'm like, well, that don't make sense. How the fuck you want a burger without the bread? Then it's not a burger. It's a fucking patty. So I'm just saying, if you ever felt like, or you ever wanted one without the other, I don't know how that would work. I just don't see how that make any sense. Taz, Taz, fully in W. You said, uh, you just said I lost you, right? If I told you right now live that I wanted the burger. But I don't want the bread. Then it's not a burger. It's a patty. I want a patty. He basically said, I don't want the loyalty. I don't want the love. But I'm like, well, how the fuck do it work? I never been loyal to somebody I didn't love. And I never loved somebody that was disloyal. I didn't, I didn't see how that worked. But again, y'all take shit. And y'all run with it. And everybody's supposed to, oh, that's 30 years real shit. That's no cap. I want loyalty. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Don't you know all you gotta do is say a bunch of a bunch of fake deep shit. And everybody gonna be like, yo, that's real shit. I can make up some fake deep shit right now. Hell yo, that's some real shit, but it won't make no fucking sense. That just didn't make sense. That didn't make sense. Like when Meek said, I watched my homie shut the casket on the coffin. That's equivalent to that. Like that didn't make sense. At all. And I'm mad at him for that because what I've learned about the industry is y'all heard that song over a hundred thousand times, stopped and edited it, 
it added the beat and all that. He told me, ain't nobody catch it. You said I'm going to close the casket on the carpet? I'm just saying, you know, accidents happen, but damn. Like, nigga, a hundred people heard that song before it came out. There ain't nobody catch that, but you know, they, they ain't even hell there. But what I'm saying is, it just don't make sense. Now, back to the girl who the side chick. If you cool with being a side chick, and you don't need that nigga for nothing, and he just fucking you, give you a little good vibe, by all means, keep doing it. You're not obligated nor required to give a fuck about his girl. You are obligated and required to give a fuck about you. So if you comfortable with doing what you're doing, then keep doing what you're doing. If you feel bad and it's eating you up like it should, then you'll stop. But I'm not here to tell you to stop doing it or keep doing it. This is about how you feel. Because if you can handle that shit and you can be cool with how he can't answer the phone because he would never be, then who gives a fuck? You ain't a bad person for it because guess what? If you had a nigga, somebody would do it to you. That's all I'm saying. So you ain't, 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 ain't we ain't got to feel bad about nothing. And all the people in relationships, all oh, that's out of pocket, fuck that. You just saying that because you won't, because you don't want your nigga to have a side chick, which is fine. But I'm just being real. Think about all the shit y'all bitches willing to do for a nigga you love. If you was talking to a nigga right now, he fucking this shit out you, loving this shit out you, seven days a week, and then he can't go without you. Now all of a sudden you got a girl, you just going, oh, I'm cool off him. No, no, you can say that all you want, but you still want to try to get in where you fit in. Come on, now let's be real. We all did some dumb shit about love. We all, we all, we all dumb as shit when it come to love. You, you don't know what you would do. That's just how it go. You still love the boy, but he got a girl, and you're not gonna stop everything you know. Like I was fucking they fight. I'm gonna keep fighting. Period. You ain't wrong for that. That ain't your, that ain't your responsibility. You know what I'm saying? That ain't your fucking responsibility. Like, listen, you robbed the fucking bank. I hope you spend the money. I ain't gonna do that. That's it. I ain't gonna do. It. Listen, you robbed the bank. I hope you spend the money. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't robbed that motherfucking bank. Same motherfucking difference. You know what I'm saying? So she gonna be alright. I mean. And dude speaks values about your character, though. You know, I feel like, you know, when you live like that and you cool with being, you know, in the shadows and shit like that, you know, that speaks for what type of person you are. You know, it don't make it don't make you dumb. It don't make you the bad person, but it do speaks for your character. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> like I got a girlfriend, right? So if I had a homie, man, he'd just be like, yo, bro, I'm fucking this bull bitch. And then third, he ain't fucking my bitch, but in the back of my mind, you know, it speaks for your character. Like, well, damn, bro. Like, so therefore... Well, fuck my bitch. It's the same thing. I don't give a fuck. It's the same shit. Like, the thing is, right? You would have a homie, right? That'd be a right-hand man, right? But when it comes to them bitches, man, that lust, them niggas lose morals. Like, right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas will lose it. Like, it could be somebody you're cool with. It could be a man. Hey, man, he ain't gonna try to fuck my bitch. He ain't gonna... Let your bitch say something to him in a flirty way or, or you tell her to... Freight with him a little bit, see how he at. Let's see how fast he come back to you and tell you that. That's all I want to know. Let's see how fast he come back to you and tell you that. He thorough, that's your guy, but let your bitch flirt with him a little bit just to see what he gonna do. I bet you he don't tell you, oh, your chick out of pocket, she was flirting with me. He gonna try, she gonna try to fuck, which is cool. That's perfectly fine with me, I'm just saying. So don't put nothing past nobody. It could be your fucking brother, nigga, at the end of the day. When that lust get up in you and that, and that, and that, and that temptation, and that, and that, man, niggas throw away these morals so fast in 2019, man. Like, this generation, niggas throw away these morals so fast, man. Like, I remember when we was, like, what, like, 16 or something like that. My homie girl used to always, like, throw little shots. And I used to tell her, yo, bro, get chick out of fire. She always did it. He's like, no, bro, that's how she is. She be playing the third. Kept throwing her shots. I said, no, bro, look, bro, this is, he said, you know what? If you think she doing it, then bro, then fuck her then. Like, I'm not going to be mad, but go ahead and fuck her. And I could have, and I probably could have fucked her because she was throwing her shit. She was throwing her shit. She was throwing her shit. But I didn't do it. Because I knew I could have did it if I would have did it. But how much time I'm going to you know, I fucked me. No, I ain't like that. At the end of the day, it ain't about what they do. It's about how you feel and who you is as a person. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not fucking my homie girl. I don't even look at my homie's girl like that. If I know of you. And I know that shit, chick. I don't look at her like that. I'm not no grimy, slimy boy. It's too much pussy out here for me to throw all my morals away because I'm going to get this action. It ain't that deep. If I ever shook your hand and I feel like you okay peoples, like we had a couple kind of, and you got a girl, why the fuck would I try to fuck your girl? If you were, if you were out, I don't give a fuck. But it be niggas that like, yo, like, he cool. Like, I went to school with him, you know, I play ball with him. He ain't, ain't, ain't no thing. I don't look at your chick like that. Why the nigga she got a nigga? Well, I don't want her. 
But a lot of niggas don't think like that. That's the thing. Eh? A lot of niggas think like, a lot of niggas don't think like that. You know what I mean? Niggas I probably know of or shook hands with or probably cool with that one fuck by. That's just how niggas is. And you got to just trust your chick. Fuck what them niggas try. It's, it's all about trusting your chick. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that a little bit, but that's how that go. So I don't put nothing past nobody. Just like I don't put nothing past her. But I'm just saying, and everybody not like me. If I if 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 if, if, if I know a nigga or we like see me cool, it ain't about even being loyal to you. I'm loyal to me. I got morals. I'm not throwing them away because I want to go go behind your back. I'm not doing that. I can't do it. I never did that. That's your chick, and I'm a, and I'm gonna respect it because I, I would want somebody to respect what I got. I'm not saying niggas is gonna respect it, but I would want somebody to respect what I got, which niggas don't, and that's perfectly fine. Now. Let's let's put trust. I mean, let's put trust to the side for a minute, right? I want to say something. This is gonna be my new model for 2019, and don't take it the wrong way. Even if you go tell vibes, don't take it the wrong way. But this should be all my niggas' vibe and all my niggas' moves. So I want all y'all to write this down as a motherfucking meme or whatever, and just make sure that you add me in it because I created it, right? I don't trust these bitches, but I got faith in them. That's it. That's it. That's all. I got I got faith that you won't do nothing behind my back. I got faith with you that you won't fuck this up, but I don't trust you to not do it. That's how I look at it. You could trust somebody at the end of the day, but when something look a little sneaky, that shit go out the window. If you trust somebody and they did some sneaky shit, you ain't gonna be like, no, I trust. No, you gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? So. I don't trust you not to do nothing. I just have faith that you won't. That's it. That's it. That's all. Cause I, I that trust shit. I ain't with that. I don't. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't trusting nobody. I got faith in you. And if you can't take that, then don't take that. But that's what I'm at with. I got. I got faith in you, my mom. Boo boo. I ain't listen. I ain't well. Cause that trust shit where you fucked up. Listen. If you got faith in a motherfucker, and they do some nut shit, it's gonna hurt. You gonna be cool though. You ever trusted a motherfucker and they did some nut shit? That shit fucked you up for a little minute. That shit fucked up your next relationships and everything. When that trust get broke by one person, it fuck up the trust you got for everybody else. I got faith in you. When you fuck that up. I mean, you ain't, you ain't fuck my trust up. I still trust other motherfuckers. I still fuck with other motherfuckers, but I ain't got no faith in you. And faith is good, cause. Y'all believe in God, right? Y'all don't say, oh, I trust God. You're like, no, I got faith in God, right? I ain't never heard nobody say, oh, I trust God. Y'all say, I got faith in God. All right, well, I got faith in you. Trust is going to get you killed. That's facts. And it's not saying that I'm going to act different, I'm going to act funny, but that's just going to be my mindset with certain shit. Like, I trust, you know, I, I, I got faith that you won't do nothing to hurt me, but I don't trust you not to do nothing to hurt me. And that's how I'm running with it. Rather than it makes sense to y'all or not, that's my motto because that's how I've been feeling. Like, you know, listen, I'm not saying you did nothing wrong, but just for me, in my mental, you know, I got faith in you. That's it. You know, and hopefully when I get a little older, I can learn how to, you know, get that trust. But that make perfect sense to me. I have faith in you not to do nothing. Like, I fucks with you. I got faith in you. But I don't trust you not to do nothing. If you don't understand that, you then, I mean... You know what I'm saying? I don't put shit past nobody, bro. I'm telling you. I just, I just push shit past people. Shit came back and punched the shit out of me. You <laughs> shit. No cat. I mean, you know, that's kind of where I'm at with it. But like I said, a lot of people, if I could, if I could give you any relationship advice or any real life advice or some real shit, it'd be simple as fuck. Focus on you. Take care of yourself and just watch how easy it become to take care of others. You get what I'm saying? If 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 you take care of yourself, it becomes so much easier to take care of others. The reason why people hate you, or the reason why people hate on you, or the reason why people don't want you to win, or they talk about you, it's because they don't they don't got it all together with themselves. So their job is to break other people down, so they equivalent. When you when you're high horse, you lift people up. It's natural. You always the fuck up here. What do you get by kicking somebody down lower? You can't even reach them. You up here. 
Motherfucker right here. How can you even kick them down for them to go lower? Or what do it matter if they going lower? You already up here. You this high, you pull people up. That's it. But when you up here and somebody down here, they want to grab you and bring you down because you too fucking high. And, and you got to understand that about life that everybody going to do that type of shit because they, they not right together. Like a person who really living their best life, they not doing petty shit to people for no reason. They not a hateful person. They don't care about what others do. They don't care how they've been. You living your best life. That's how you take care of yourself. If you hating on a motherfucker and strolling your timeline, you upset about something, and you just in the third, you have to go back to the drawing board and figure out what you missing. Because at the end of the day, every human being got 24 hours. What you did with yours don't got nothing to do with what they do with theirs. It is a fair game out here. Whether you black, white, whatever, it's fair game. You got breath in your body and you got 24 hours. That's it. It's fair game. It's your story. It's your story. That's it. But motherfuckers want to share hate. And I learned this prior like six months ago. Like it, it, it. All right. Yeah, my shit is goofy. But uh, it's, it's going to take it's gonna take time for you to learn this, though. This is not something that I'm going I'm to I'm be able to tell you on the live and you're going to understand right away. It's not going to be... It's not going to be one of those type of situations where I can tell you at one time and you're going to understand it. This shit take time for you to really understand it because somebody going to do something to you and you're going to get mad. You're going to be furious. You're not going to understand. It's going to take time. It's not something you're going to learn that quick. It literally takes time. It took me six months. If that person is negative energy... They have to fix something with themselves. I recommend everybody just focus on what make you happy. Focus on you. Happy people create happy people. Bitter, depressed, angry people will make bitter, depressed, angry people. That's just how it go. It's, it's really that simple. So live your fucking life. No matter what nobody else think, do what you're going to do. Rather they bend or not, it don't make another do. You know what I'm saying? What they eat don't make you shit. And who they fuck don't make you come. And that's and and that's how we are gonna be carrying it. Like it's like 2019 is the year of mature. It's the year of maturity for me. You know, like I feel like I've been mature, but 2019 is gonna be my year of maturity. Like I'm, I'm cutting out all the being petty, rich. I'm cutting out the just not completely doing nothing rich. I'm cutting out all of just the. It's it's the year of the maturity. Still gonna be a dickhead. Still gonna bid. But it's the year of maturity. Just understanding people and understanding that this shit is science. It's not like. Somebody was born dip No, this shit is science. It's not. It's the right answer to everything. It, this is science. It's not. Oh well, that's just how it is. No, it's a science. It's not. It's it's an answer to it. When it's science, it is facts. It is facts that hurt people, hurt people, and this and that and third. Somebody this high don't get no kick out of kicking somebody down this low. Everybody want to bring somebody to their level because you feel like you know they too high or they too low. You want to bring them to your level. That's how it go. Because every mean person got somebody they nice to, right? Got somebody they probably feel sorry for. Got somebody they help. Because if they right here and you up here and somebody down here, they're going to pull you down because you higher than them. And they're going to pick you up because you lower than them. That's how it go. That's just how it go. You know? Like Francis, right? I had a grandpa. Well, he's still alive, right? I had a grandpa. He was so he was so hard on me and my siblings. But he was a sweetheart to my cousins. You follow what I'm saying? He was hard on us, but he but he was sweethearts to them, and I never understood why. I'm like, damn, I thought Grandpa was mean as shit. It wasn't that he was mean. He just knew that we had a harder than them, so he was hard on us so we could be better. And he knew that they would spoil you, so he just left them where they was at. And that's how life going to go. So every mean person got somebody that you know they nice to. So my Grandpa, he, he, I thought he was the meanest motherfucker alive. But he taught me a lot of shit. He helped me with a lot of shit. He just was mean because he was hard on us. All, all my siblings. And my cousins, he, basically, he ain't give a fuck about them. They burnt this up. That was on them. So that's how life going to go. Some people going to help you because, you know, they they see a vision in you. And some people, you think they'd be nice to you or they love you. They just keep you right there because you might be already be where you're supposed to be at. So don't take, you know, the, the tough love sometimes for, for hate. And shit like that, because I'm that friend that's going to give you tough love. You know, don't ask me no question that you don't want the wrong answer to. 
It ain't got nothing to do with me not liking you or me loving you. At the end of the day, wherever I know you or I don't, I'm going to give you the same answer. It's not, no, oh, that's my man, so I'm going to take it easy, or you my girl. No, I'm going to give you the real answer. Don't ask me shit that you don't want the, the cold hard truth. I got rapper friends. Send me their song. Rich, what you think? That's my man. I fuck with him. If this song ass, you can ask him. I'm like, bro, I don't fuck with this shit ass. Oh, all right, bet. Good looking, bro. I appreciate you. What could I do better? Oh, this, blah, 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 this part here, blah, blah, blah. same shit. Designers, I know all of them. Rich, what you did with this? That logo, you gotta move the logo. I don't like. All right, bet. I'm not chicken cold shit for nobody. And the people like me be the people that ain't got that many friends because everybody think what they do is hey, um, listen, what the how? I'm giving you a recommendation or I'm telling you my opinion that you asked for. Now, the motherfuckers who just voice their opinions about everything, you never asked them. That might be hate. Because I never go around. I can see some ugly ass clothes. If I don't know the motherfucker, I'm not going to comment, oh, that shit a mess. You don't see me trolling on people on Instagram that I don't know. That's hating. That, that's hating shit. If they put a post up and say, what y'all think about this, I might still not comment because, you know, that, that's a general statement. But if they ask me, I'm a DM or something like that, I'm going to tell them the truth. But only if you ask me is when I tell you my honest opinion. I don't just voice my real opinion on shit that ain't got nothing to do with me because that comes off as hate. I don't want you to feel like I'm hating on you, so I'm not going to say, oh, that's, oh, that shit ass. Start telling people, if you really care about somebody and you want to be genuine towards them but tell them the truth, you bash it, and then you, and then you give them some recommendations or some help. Don't just say all the bad shit. Offer a, a solution. And that comes off as being genuine. So I can say, man, this song, ass. That sounds like some hating ass shit. That sounds bad, don't it? But watch this. Man, that song ass, bro. You gotta go harder on that hook, bro. That hook weak, my nigga. Like, you could have said so. Come on, bro. You could have did way better on verse two. That don't sound like no hand shit to me. That sound like you keeping that shit a Benji. See the difference, though? Man, that shit ass. Nigga, some hating shit, bro. You, man, that shit ass, bro. You could have went way harder on that hook, dog. Like, what the fuck? Like, come on, dog. Like, you know that way. You better than that. All right, yeah, you right, bro, you right. Why do y'all people just be, oh, that's ass, but the reason why I come off is hate because you ain't tell them where it was ass at or why you didn't like it. If I dislike something, there's a reason why I dislike it. I just don't dislike something. Like, I don't know why. Well, how you just like it? But th that's how it go. You know what I'm saying? Like, fashion designers. Man, that shirt corny as shit. Man, that's some hate shit, bro. You wrong. That's hate. I don't like that shirt, bro, because, like, the logo should have been on the front. You get what I'm saying? Because it was on the front. I could pose regular. She got it on the side. I got to go like, oh, all right, bet. Oh, I get what you're saying. But a lot of y'all motherfuckers be haters. Y'all saying some hateful shit, but ain't got no solution or no recommendation because you don't know why you hate it. You just hate it. You know, but that's my time. Y'all be good. How y'all be good. It's the boy Rich Dollars, and I'm checking out. You know, I'm checking out. That's it. We out.